good morning, everyone. Um, thanks for joining me on this uh, dark uh, <laughs> November morning. Um, this is my my morning routine. I am not very disciplined, so this is my attempt at developing a daily discipline. And um, if you want someone to pray alongside, um, I'm here, and I hope this is useful to you. I have the the prayers I'm reading in the scripture um, that I'll be reading in the YouTube description, so should be able to um, uh, read that okay. All right. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Uh, sorry, I'm having some camera travel troubles today. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, the sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, have mercy on me, the sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, the sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and all the saints, have mercy on us. Amen. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. O heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art everywhere and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Most Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities, for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Having arisen from sleep, we fall down before thee, O blessed one, and sing to thee, O mighty one, the angelic hymn. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Having raised me from my bed in sleep, O Lord, enlighten my mind and heart, and open my lips that I may praise thee, O Holy Trinity. Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Now and ever, and to ages of ages, amen. The judge will come suddenly, and the acts of every man will be revealed. But in the middle of the night we cry with fear, Holy, holy, holy art thou, O God, through the Theotokos, have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Having risen from sleep, I thank thee, the Holy Trinity, in the abundance of thy kindness and long patience. Thou hast not been angry with me for my laziness and sinfulness, nor hast thou destroyed me in my lawlessness. Instead, in thy usual love for mankind, thou hast raised me as I lay in despair, that I may rise early and glorify thy reign. Enlighten now the eyes of my mind, and open my lips, that I might learn of thy words, understand thy commandments, accomplish thy will, hymn thee in heartfelt confession and praise thine all-holy name. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. All right, so the the saint today is um, the holy great martyr Menas of Egypt. And he was a Roman legionnaire. Actually, I'll just read, let's, um, go through his story. So, he was an Egyptian by birth, um, and he was a military officer and served in the 
Cotillon region of Phrygia under the centurion Firmilian um, in the Roman army during the reign of the emperors Diocletian and Maxima Maximian. Um, it was during his life that the emperors began their fiercest uh, persecution against the Christians. Um, so um, Menas refused to serve these persecutors. He removed his soldier's belt, which was a sign of his military rank, and he withdrew to a mountain where he lived an aesthetic life of fasting and prayer. Once he happened to arrive in a city during a pagan festival. At the climax, climax of the games, the saint's accusing voice rang out, preaching faith in Christ, the Savior of the world. In his trial before the prefect Pyrrhus, which I wonder if um, Pyrrhus is the same Pyrrhus as uh, Pyrrhic victory, where both sides get destroyed. Uh, anyway, the saint bravely confessed his faith, saying that he had come to denounce the impious. The prefect was angered and had Minas arrested. Pyrrhus offered to restore the saint's former rank if he would offer sacrifice to the pagan gods. When he refused, he was put in cruel tortures. Then he was beheaded. Christians gathered up the martyr's relics by night and hid them until the end of the persecution. Later, they were brought to Egypt and placed in a church dedicated to St. Menas, southwest of Alexandria. The saint received grace from God to work miracles and to help those in need. St. Menas is noted for healing various illnesses, delivering people from possession by demons, and as a protector, especially during times of war. We also ask help. We ask his help in finding lost objects. Yeah, I'll have, to, I'll have to think about that one. All right, so the Troparian, which would normally be in tone four, except I cannot sing, is uh, your holy martyrs, O Lord, who their sufferings have received incorruptible crowns from you, our God. For having your strength, they laid low their adversaries and shattered the powerless, powerless boldness of demons through their intercessions, save our souls. Right, the Kentuckian, which would normally be in tone eight, same disclaimer. Today the church honors those who fought the good fight and died for their faith. The victorious Menas, the noble, the noble victor in the ascetic Vincent. The church glorifies their divine struggle and cries out with love. Glory to you, O Christ, the lover of mankind. Right, so we have three readings today. Um, Mark, Ephesians, and Luke. So we'll start with Mark. Uh, 16 verses 1 through 8. Now when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Sol Salome brought sp or bought spices that they might come and anoint him. Very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they came to the tomb when the sun had risen. Uh, S-U-N had risen. And they said among themselves, Who will roll away the stone from the door of the tomb for us? When they looked up, they saw the stone had been rolled away, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man clothed in a white, long white robe sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. But he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who is crucified. He is risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go, tell his disciples, and Peter, that he is going before you into Galilee, there you will see him, as he said to you. So they went quickly and filled, and fled from the tomb, for they trembled and were amazed. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. All right, and then um, just quick thought there. Um, and so in Mark, there is a, a young man in a white robe. That is waiting for them. It's uh, slightly different in each each telling, which um, I'll say I appreciate the the Orthodox Church's um, embracing of there being these differences between the stories, as opposed to trying to uh, to shoehorn in um, you know, the or trying to squeeze the the story to fit fit uh, pre pre narrative. Sorry, one second. All right. 
Ephesians 2, 14 through 22. For he himself is our peace, who has made both one, and has broken down the middle wall of separation, having abolished in his flesh the enmity that is the law of commandments contained in ordinances, so as to create in himself one new man from the two, thus making peace, and that he may reconcile them both to God in one body through the cross, thereby putting to death the enmity. And he came and preached peace to you who are far off and to those who are near, for through him we both have access by one spirit to the Father. And therefore you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Having been built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom the whole building, being fitted together, grows into a holy temple of the Lord. In the Lord, in whom you are also being built, together for a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. My, my quick reflection there is that There, in, in pursuing orthodoxy, definitely have a sense of, of unifying different parts of myself and different aspects of my life where I did not. I still do feel very separated in a lot of ways, but before attending liturgy and, and reading and um, praying, I, I felt much, much more disconnected. All right, so our last reading today is Luke um, chapter 10, verses 25 through 37. And verse 25 starts, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tested him, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? What is your reading of it? So he answered and said, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered rightly. Do this, and you will live. But he, wanting to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Sorry. And Jesus answered and said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho, and fell among the thieves, who stripped him of his clothing, wounded him, and departed, leaving him half dead. Now by chance a certain priest came down that road, and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise a Levite, when he arrived at the place, came and looked, and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was, and when he saw him, he had compassion. So he went with him and bandaged his wounds, pouring on oil and wine, and he set him on his own animal, brought him to an inn, and took care of him. On the next day, he departed. He took out two denarii, gave them to the innkeeper, and said to him, Take care of him, and whatever more you spend, when I come again, I will repay you. So which of these three do you think was neighbor to him who fell among the thieves? And he said, He who showed mercy on him. Then Jesus said to him, Go and do life. All right, well, thank you for, um, for being with me this morning. I will uh, be coming out with some, some other videos um, beyond just the, the daily discipline um, soon um, about drawing near the thick darkness um, where God is. <clears throat> the verse from Exodus and uh, the practical nature of the Orthodox Church. But until then... Um, thank you and hope you have a great day.